Well, my voice is not the best. I still have, I'm still uh, coming out of the cold. So if you actually, um, if you actually don't get me through, uh, you you should understand. Thank you so much for for your understanding. God bless you all the time. Uh, we should be good to start soon, and that should be in the next um, uh, few seconds or so. Thank you. Please, once you join, you share, share extensively. Let's have everybody on board. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We will continuously listen to to this beautiful music as usual. Okay, thank you so much, so much, so much, ladies and gentlemen. As you are all aware, they have blocked our main account, so we are managing with these. And uh, uh, we just did a small short show on YouTube, so we're trying to make sure that we get the, uh, the two accounts. So no, most often from now, we'll, we'll be doing our shows either on YouTube or on Twitter, because we want to ensure that we, we get much more to the international community. And also to avoid this uh, block stuff from uh, from Facebook, you know, Facebook has blocked uh, my Eric Tattoo account, which is my main account. Uh, with um, uh, for from for with, uh, it's given a 30, 30 day block, so I'll be, that account will be down for thirty days. So we'll only be managing this. Uh, we're using this Eric Tattoo channel and the YouTube uh, account. So it's important that you make this announcement. So um, we'll have all these. Um, uh, ratified in uh, in due time, so thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Before, uh, uh, without much ado, let me just put a couple of things together. We we have actually had some other people who have contributed. I'm going to be reading their names here today. They are just one of their names per se, and the amount that they have contributed and the instructions that they have given. Um, um, so we we are actually very grateful that uh, some of you are joining here. Mm -hmm. We thank those who watch on YouTube and have come back here. Of course, the messages are going to be 
a little bit similar but uh, different too so um the first thing is that i want to start by thanking all the foot soldiers and especially those uh, in the corner and uh, moyoka and most especially those in moyoka who have uh, observed a very special um retrain uh, you know restrain uh, yesterday uh we had a meeting with some of the commanders in moyoka and uh, they laid to us a very pertinent complaint i'm talking to all those of you in moyoka i'm starting uh, this show with moyoka because it's very important and um we have discussed with them and uh we want to uh tell um uh opopo uh one of the fighters around that stretch of road that he has to be very careful this is an open warning uh because it's important to warn before you act you know this is a war situation and uh we want to say this very clearly that uh we are fighting a cause that uh, it's like a burden that was brought upon us by the colonial masters in Yaoundé. Uh, it's a country that we are supposed to have just been enjoying, uh, but on, on, unfortunately, we got ourselves into this mess. We didn't prepare, and so we are in a position where we have to say this clearly. We Yesterday, we told the fighters in Moyoka, they have been very cooperative. They, uh, we, we have asked them to keep their calm because uh, uh, Commander, uh, well, I think for the sake of security, let me just uh, be, be, be silent about this particular issue, this particular point I wanted to touch, but let me just go ahead. So we have talked about the Moyoka issue and a lot of Moyoka children have contacted me, like 10 of you or so, and uh, we had discussing the issue we had a conference call with uh, Joshua Carr and uh, the fighters in Moyoka and of course they are under Fako County they have been doing a fabulous job but uh, a group of uh, I want to call those other people who call themselves fighters I want to call them a group of hooligans and um, I just want to pass this message to them I know they will watch this video if you don't watch it you can send it to them uh, let those people who are trying to come to Moyoka to know that if they try the next time uh, uh, defenders of our mothers, our fathers and our properties in Moyoka will be instructed to uh, uh, get them to a better position to have some, some gari. It's very important for this message to go to them, but for the main, in the meantime, let everybody stay calm. And um, we, uh, Patu and the rest of you, Nyanga Pekin and all of you from Moyoka, I want you to let you know that we are we are taking particular we're putting particular eye on this Moyoka issue. For those of you who are following you will not understand, but I'm just letting the Moyoka people know that we are aware of the issue and we have talked about it with Fombant, Joshoka, and uh, it is under control. But uh, we have also uh, asked the fighters there to defend themselves just in case. So if you are coming there as an intruder to try to destroy the Moyoka camp. We we'll treat you the same way that we treat the Republic to Cameroon. That is an instruction. And I want you to trust me that there is one little thing about me. And uh, that I don't say things that I don't do then. So we we should understand that this is an emergency call for Opopo and his fighters. Stay on your lane, fight the Republic, or we'll begin to fight you. And there is no joke about that. So... We thank you, those of you in Moyoka, all the fighters for your commitment. We also want to appreciate some few of our fighters that have had some injuries. And uh, we're going to make sure that we get help down to you to ensure that you, you get the best help. With that said, I want to move to the next point, which is uh, the lockdown itself. Um, you are all aware, I, I'm doing a little briefing for you to know the uh, level that we've gone, the effectiveness of the lockdown. Because, like we said in the beginning, uh, I, I told people, we told people on this platform that uh, you cannot take instructions from people who don't have money, from people who don't have credibility and people who don't have, tr who are not trusted. Because uh, we live in a world where trust 
and credibility move at everything else. And so we said that we have the money because for the little thing that you've been given to us, we pass it to Fako on this live show, we, we know that we can use it effectively because we can have it go to the people who are defending our land. Now, you know, a lot of people sometimes they get worried about my disposition, about the things I say, and the fear that sometimes uh, maybe I can get jailed or something and stuff like that, but or I can get an issue here and there. But I always want to let them know, uh, because it's a concern that somebody raised, I always want to let them know that there is, there is one thing about uh, a perception of life. Uh, if you decide to get engaged in something, you know, we, we are certain about what we're getting engaged in. And so for me, I'm not worried about what is going to be for me because I'm fighting from the position of somebody who is in the grave. I'm trying to survive. And so I'm doing it anyway. And uh, so long as it falls within the ambit of the international law, I think I'm good to go. So please do not get scared. Be sure of your country that uh, it is not the noise that you see on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Twitter. It is not the noise that you see in most of those places. It is about what the communication that you have directly with the ground that is changing the fight. And we say the lockdown is effective, is perfectly effective, is 100% effective, 110% or even more. Well, we, you could have some places that are not as effective as we would expect, but we think significantly uh, is, 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 is term a total lockdown. And the success have been very, very, very amazing. And we can only thank all of you who trust in us, who understand that uh, even as little as we are, as uh, nobodies as we have been, uh, we can actually drive this to a very firm, uh, firm uh, uh, ending. So we, we thank you all. And it's been a collective work of all those who believed in the lockdown. I mean, after a lot of uh, 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 some of our compatriots try to sabotage the process, but we were steady on the fact that it will work because we talked with our commanders and they gave us the awards that once they have what they're supposed to have, they're going to ensure that everything goes well. With that said, I was just briefing you on the lockdown to let you know that we are, it's great and uh, we, we have done well as a people to ensure that the like, Republic understands that we're in charge of our country. Now, uh, it would be unfair for me not to make a little statement for even a minute about the Secretary Chris Anu saga. And this is my reaction because it's not my original reaction. I might say something more in the future. My reaction about what is happening is that uh, you, those of you watching me, you are the problem to yourself. You are your own problem because, you see, you cannot get worked up about issues that are, it's, it's like you leave um, a TV in your house and you're trying to go under the snow to watch the b-board showing the same thing that shows in your house. That is stupidity. Why do I say so? I say so because uh, Secretary Chris has an official Facebook page that if he has resigned, as some people claim, I'm waiting to see there and we'll make news out of it. And then we'll work how we'll see how to work things out. And, you know, like I was saying on YouTube that um, this Ambazonian War of Independence is not, is not a, an exam timetable that has to move. Like you writing exams this time, this 12 p.m. is this subject, 1 p.m. is this one. Six is this one, and then in the morning, just like that, you know. So all of that line, you know, you you have to understand that it is not an exam timetable, and it's important for us to know one thing: we have to be prudent in our reaction. You see, this platform had, you know, spoken about the need for a proactive approach towards the APNC. Because in my understanding and my inspiration from God, I knew that it, it, it was going to be there was going to be an issue about this. So when I came and made very strong statement, in fact, 
it was on this platform that the debate for the MPN, APNC started. And I left it halfway for you people to understand what was going on. And I employed the interim government to react to it. Because, like I was still say, they were very sluggish to react. And now, this is the baby that the sluggishness has given birth to. But we can always manage it. Because all this noise is about this conference. Because the IG refused to be proactive. The, if people bring an idea, it was just normal to ask them, okay, we have this conference here, let's do this, so that when they want to bring other issues, we will know that they have bad faith. But that notwithstanding, I think it is not a big thing. And all the messages you see on Facebook, on WhatsApp, ask yourself that at a time when we are concentrating, when we are concentrating on ensuring that this lockdown pulls through to the end, we have these messages flying and you people, you concentrate on talking about, about the messages on WhatsApp. When I've called Secretary Chris, I didn't get him. I spoke to Dr. Sako and I can't come on Facebook and say that I spoke to somebody in jail. It's ridiculous to come on Facebook and you say that somebody in jail had this, they did this because you are selling out that person. And if people do something from jail, for example, it's supposed to be top secret. So we, first of all, want to curse in earnest the person who shared whatever screenshot. We are cursing you because you knew that you were sharing it to people who are, di who are diabolic and divisive. And you knew they were going to use it for a purpose. Because, I mean, it, news from a WhatsApp group cannot be breaking news. It can't be breaking news. And you see people doing breaking news that this man has resigned, for example, when you have his contact. So you cannot, you cannot, you cannot be in a position where you allow yourselves to be manipulated by messages from WhatsApp. You see, the authority, the authority of, please, let me go a little bit personal. The authority of Eric Tato is because, you know, we break news from the source. If you see it on WhatsApp, it means it comes from us. And so because you cannot depend on a screenshot from a WhatsApp and something that is internal to make it a big deal. So do not get yourself worked up about issues that are trivial. At this time, I can get angry with my brother and I say, okay, I'm walking away, for example. I don't know what happened on that stuff. I don't care about it. Because you see, that is the difference between a professional processing of communication or, or information, the professional processing of information, vis-a-vis -vis the processing of information from holistic and professional buffoons. I put it holistic and professional buffoon because it is very normal. Even if I have a problem with X, Y, Z, but there is news about X, Y, Z. In the earnest of professionalism, I got to call them to ask them. Take, for example, when Barista Bala was going to Canada, we had an argument because I told him, I'm saying things on Facebook, because I told him, I, I put out a, an audio saying that if they do that stuff on federalism and stuff, they should guard it and stuff. So Barista Bala threatened me, which is his right because he was not happy with what I said. And we cut off communication and we're not talking. We're like enemies for a month or so because I told him that I sent a recorded message to him that if you go to Daya Canada and you don't talk about referendum, you talk about their federation stuff, you're my big brother, but you're going to have serious problems with me. And so he said some of the things that I expected him and I was happy because he became, he's objective, but he became more objective. So. When something came up that I needed to verify, and the only source that I needed to verify is Barista Bobala. And so I called him, I called him, and he picked, and he finally gave me the information. So I, cannot, I can only try, and then I fail. And I can have proof that I tried, and I failed, and I can still be patient. So if you have issues that you have to handle, you have to understand that this is a revolution, this is a war that we do not put ourselves into. It's a burden that we are carrying. And you cannot have yourself being distracted. 
You cannot have yourself being distracted. All those people who are posting this and that, look at them, look at their contribution. This platform alone, this platform alone, this platform alone has raised at least a hundred thousand US dollars. And you've seen it here. Today we'll still get some few names of people who have sent money. Because you cannot depend on all these polemics and politics on Facebook and WhatsApp, my brothers and sisters. We have um, we have pertinent issues at, at hand. We have issues that are burning. Okay, like the the video that you've seen circulating online, the guy who was arrested by the U.S. Secret Service is a brother and a friend. He's an Ambazonian, but some poor thing is a francophone. He's an Ambazonian who went to do something and he was arrested. And they have gone to court. Um, they went to court again with the, with the uh, uh, La Republic ambassador to Washington. And we have the full story, which is so great for Ambazonians. That will be publishing soon what the Secret Service is doing, what they have decided, the kind of amount of evidence they have received, and all of those things will release it. So you look at the positive things that you can do in this revolution. And you see, let me give you another example. We, National Telegraph has been publishing a lot of things, and we are digging out the, the nefarious activities of the Republic to Cameroon. Okay, only two days or three or four days ago, we published a fact, a story that happened in Boya, that they had eyewitnesses because the UN is in Boya, for example. And, you know, they, 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 a, a, a soldier was killed and they had beheaded. And we reported it exactly the way it happened because he was attacked by Ambazonian soldiers who were defending themselves. Ambazonian soldiers were defending themselves and in the process, that man's head was beheaded. So, and when we published as National Telegraph, some people, I want to just give you an example of conspiracy theory. Some people will not appreciate the fact that you have published news, although it's, it's, it's a bad fact for Ambazonia that a soldier head is beheaded. But it is also, it also gives independence to the journalist who is doing the work. News organs contact me, United Nations Human Rights Watch here in, in, in uh, Washington and other places, Amnesty International, they contact me because they see me as an independent reporter. So now, this is where I'm going to. Now, a group of people, they go to the post that I made on the beheading of a soldier, they screenshot, and then they are flying it across social media and WhatsApp groups, saying that, oh, look at this man, how can he report in that Ambazonian fighters cut the head of a soldier? Okay, now, you report 99.99% the evil deeds of the soldiers of Mr. Pobia. None of them would ever bother to share on their walls. They only copy your stories. They copy it, take your pictures, they use it for free. Take, for example, the Seseko's uh, 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 dress, the one that the other guy was standing behind. That dress was shared exclusively only to National Telegraph. And we put it on our wall. We didn't put a logo there for a purpose. And everybody used it on Facebook. If we put a logo there, many people would not have used it because they thought that they would be advertising Telegraph. That was my picture. I have copyright on that picture on, my, on, my, on, on, our, on, our, on our National Telegraph website. But you saw it, everybody was putting it, but nobody bothered to say photo credit National Telegraph. How did you get that picture? How did you think we knew that that was the Bangla dress that Seseko was going to wear in court? Because we published it two or three or more hours before. And we can show you proof that we received it since on the 30th. We we're not trying to say a couple of things. We we're just trying to let people know that you cannot be so diabolic that you don't see any good thing, but you only look for the negative things to put out on social media. That is not supposed to be our job. You see... I have my brothers out there, Yannick Sikard, Joshua Carr, and the rest of them. They're doing a great job. And I have told a lot of our brothers that, henceforth, do not bother about the people who try to be at the maximum level of conspiracy theory. This is the reason. I'll talk to these other activists. This is the reason why. You see, somebody came online and said, Eric did this, Eric did that. And I said to myself that, I will not reply them for many reasons. Many reasons. Now, before they said my father was an evil man. Yesterday, somebody said he's Widikum, somebody said he's Etoko. So that's what they're trying to do. They are trying to put a lot of conspiracy theories inside an issue to make you get frustrated. But then, 
If you are an activist like me, for example, I run the National Telegraph as a professional, an official paid website with a domain name. And I'm competing with BBC, CNN, all other media organs around the world, Nigeria, Ghana, everywhere, to break news. And Google is indexing me and paying me for that. Because Google puts me on Google puts me on Google News. And so if I have to write five or three stories a day, my reporters have to send stories, I have to investigate, I have to call to confirm. What time do you have to come and be replying? People who don't have any job. You have to take care of your family. You have to take care of the fighters. You have to talk to the people who are defending homeland. You have to think about how to put the best product in terms of news out there. This is not boasting. This is not boasting. It is a fact that till the kingdom come, until another person will come, the best news outlet in this revolution is National Telegraph. That's the fact. So I cannot go down to... I saw all those things lying on WhatsApp. Wait to hear from Secretary Chris. Why are you guys so worked up? They do all sorts of conspiracy theories against me. You see people spend five hours, six hours saying that Eric Tato has bought a house in Maryland and stuff like that. So what? So what? Okay, the truth is that I have not bought a house. And the truth is that I have a lot of money on my own if I want to buy a house. That's the point. Because buying a house here needs good credit and it's a down payment. So, they, you know, they have tried to say that, oh, they have not seen anywhere that they can say that you have taken money from the revolution. So they are not saying that, okay, because of this, this man is only taking money from the republic. I mean, so, you know, you do things that are so tangible, that are so baffling that they don't see anywhere to link you, but they try to always want to link you. And in the process, they discredit themselves. So you have to stay focused to that fact. I mean, okay, take for example. I want to do a small analysis here, especially now. For those who will be watching on YouTube, please, forgive me. People say that you're poor because you were selling papers. But I want to tell you us a story. That is why... There is nobody in this revolution. I want to say it and beat my chest. And for all, I'm very, I'm very bothered about us Ambazonians, not about the people who have spent the conspiracy theories. And that is why I want to explain this to you. See, people spend their time, they try to build conspiracy theories, and they try to analyze your finances. See, first and foremost, we don't want to talk about finances on Facebook because personal finances, because it is a war that people are dying. But sometimes it's necessary for you to explain a few things. See, for example, who on earth will see people dying and then they are screenshotting Facebook views that they don't even have? They don't have. And they come and put you on Facebook to impress who? Everybody who is watching me knows who they watch and how many people watch who. And it cannot be a competition of Facebook likes and Facebook whatsoever. Listen. Maybe 12 months ago, they watched the most than me. But for now, I am in charge. We are in charge. That's the point. We are in charge. In news, in views, in money, in everything. See, put it in your mind. There is nobody who can impress us with money. Because money, at our own end, we got. So you don't have to listen to people who... Crowd your mind. We have we have locked down. We have locked down. We have to think about it strategically. See, let me give you, Yannick. I'm happy that you did uh, a bank that you 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 finally opened and a lot of money came out. Let me give you a small short analysis. You see, in Cameroon at the time, one newspaper, a newspaper is printed for eighty francs at most or ninety, and then you sell for four hundred. That's how much you print a paper. One newspaper. So when you print in bulk, like 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, depending on how much you can, you can say in your area or whatever, you can go up to 70 francs down or 80 francs, 75. Pay newspaper. Okay, now, this is the problem. You see, in America, CEOs of companies, like the person who used to have Walmart before he died, he used to, he's the person who introduced the idea of greeting people by the shop. He's the one who did that, introduced that. One of our brothers, Uncle D in, in, uh, in Ohio, lectured me a lot about it because he was appreciating some of the things that I was doing. Now, in America, in most companies, the CEOs, they work because they always have their joint businesses. 
And that is the entrepreneurial spirit that Eric Tato had in Cameroon. I was the few, I was one of the few publishers, at the time I was the youngest publisher, who used to sell newspapers by himself. And this is the analysis I want to make. And I want to make and make a declaration. You sell one newspaper is 80 francs. You sell for 400. You make 320 francs per copy. It's the most lucrative business. If you because news is bought. Now, in 12 pages in a newspaper, or in 20 pages, depending, you have stories, you have adverts that people cover. Pro coin for coverage is the pay. So when you look some editions of a paper, this is just an insight. People like the Guardian Post and the rest, they can tell you. That's why Christian Gal, the Guardian Post, can publish every day because he has the money. You can't make the money for me. You see, I want you to know one thing. And I want you not to ever bother about conspiracy theorists. Because nobody. Let me tell you for something. In this revolution, till the end, we'll get to Boya and I'll be standing here. They can do whatever they like. If 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 I want to buy a house in America, I'll I'll, I'll do it anytime. Not based on any money from anywhere. So that is what they don't know. That's why I was selling papers because there was too much money in selling papers. Too much. A lot of money. So they, they talk from the space because they don't know you. So you don't want to depend on them. On the lies they say. You sell, you sell three, you make 320 francs. People who have the biggest provision shop, they cannot make the money that you make selling papers. So if you only sell in an, in an edition, if you sell 1,000 copies, you will make 320,000 francs. If you sell 200, you make 600,000, 640. That's a simple analysis. So if you put that together with adverts, there are editions that a journalist, a publisher, would make every 1 million francs profit. In all, in all, if a man has 21 permanent staff, what the French man called redacteur and chef directed the publication, I mean, you cannot have people who don't know their left from their right talking to somebody who owns the same company like at the level of the Washington Post, like the New York Times, like Cameroon Tribune, like any other newspaper. How is it possible that you think that a publisher can be poor? I came to America by myself, went back, went to China, went to any, many places, to Ethiopia, to Ghana, flying first class, anyhow I like. The passport is full. And so because they don't know, they can come and confuse you. And so we always get the chance to talk about these things. See, let me tell you something. It, it just only poor, broke people don't understand. That is why they get panicked when they see money. When you send them money, they take and eat. Because they don't have money. They have never seen money. How much do you think I'm worth? There is nobody in this revolution who can give me 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 that will impress me. No. Because it is no money. You ask the people, you know, my children went to school for free when I was in Cameroon because we did exchange service publicity with schools. They want me to advertise them. So you don't, you don't, need, you don't, need, to, you don't need to pay money. Just give me, we talk, and then we get, out, get going. So those are things that people don't know. And so you cannot hear conspiracy theories and you continuously want to understand that these people are saying this, or oh, what are they saying that and stuff like that. So, stay focused. That is why I'm focused. Take for example. I'll show you this real quick. If you, if you, if you come on Facebook, you read names of people who send money. It's because I'm challenging you because anybody who sends money instantly sends me a receipt or calls me and we have proof of chat. You have to. So there is nobody who can come and say that you cannot go and generate a receipt because you bring the code and we'll go to West Union and find out. Because I am, I am here to ensure that nobody steals your money anymore. When the time for AKs will come, you will know why they come here later. So let's not bother. Now, take for example, all of those people we are concentrating on Shut down, block down. Something they said was never going to work. And it's working. And all of a sudden they bring stuff. Secretary Chris can want to resign. They can have issues in their cabinet. It is normal. They can fix it if they want. They cannot fix it. People can do whatever. But I want to tell you one thing. No one man can destroy this revolution. Not Sisiko. Not Sako. Not Secretary Chris. Nobody. Not Eric Tato. Not Yannick Sikot. Nobody. Please. I want you all to understand that. That I am 
we are supposed to stay focused on the goal. Now, just very quick before anything, uh, we're going to do this very quick so that we have one of our, our fathers who called from, uh, I think, Germany or UK, doctor. We, we discussed with Joshua Carr immediately because he called on the live show that he didn't hear his name. And Joshua Carr rectified that account was 80 something pounds. He went to Joshua, but the receipt was sent to me. So there was a mix up and it was hanging on the FACO account. And Joshua Carr has acknowledged and we were on conference call with the uh, that same day because this is a platform of transparency. Now, after that day that we, we have already disbursed, we have already paid out. Uh, okay. We have already paid out the money that the lawyers needed, but the balance has to be collected because uh, Secretary Tabenyan, who sent the money, has added his money, has sent it because only a particular man could go on cash up. Now, we have had uh, one of our brothers, Baba, just sent $20, uh, $21. I'm reading on, on cash up. Mommy Josephine sent $100 that I should go to Joshua Car for FACO. Please, if you are in a county and I read your name, be, depending on this instruction, you are supposed to get back to me so that I send the money to you. And if you're online now, you can call and it's going to be sent to you directly. Now, one of our brothers uh, is uh, Zishon. He sent $550 on my cash app. He said, Le Bialem 200. So Le Bialem, if you hear that 200, you have to call me so that I send you 200. You have Mezam. I'm Fidelis Ambe. Mezam has 200. Then, uh, Fako has 50, Bafut has 50, and Momo 50. It means Bafut is still Mezam, means it's, it's 250 for Mezam. That's the 550 that he sent today, is there. That's it, you can see the amount, if you want. So, that's it, that he sent. It's $550, and he has divided. Uh, I'm sure that, uh, well, anyway, it's just one name, so nothing is revealed there. Now, Mommy Gertrude sent $100. Then, um, yesterday, brother Martin, uh, you gave $100 and instructed, instructed that 50 should be sent to Mezam, which I sent to mommy, and immediately we were on conference call, and 50 is left here for the lawyers. Sister Francisca, you have sent $100. And then, brother Clement also sent $100. Mommy Ngonde sent $20. Stanley, you've sent 50. And then Mola Edi, you I received on Thursday $1,000 from you. Uh, transaction between uh, uh, you and Joshua Carr. So that was sent to Secretary Tabenyang because it was part of the money that Carr had received in the UK. So that is what we have. Then uh, on we have here, um, somebody's trying to call me. We have here uh, $200 from... Uh, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but this is uh, Betanga, $200. Okay, uh, I think that's where we ended because last last time we ended on Rita's husband. So, okay. Now, this is what we have on our cash app now. We have $2,329. In this $2,329, $1,000 is already for, um, for uh, the lawyers already because that was part of the money that Joshua Carr received. So, the extra money that has come in after that day is $1,329. It's $2,000, but $1,000 is money that Joshua Carr sent that will be sent to Secretary Tabenyan. Now, this $1,329, you already have the division. Rampo wanted to go to Mezam and Sfako and all of that. We are going to do that. Now, on this other list, we have uh, Sister Emerencia has given $100. She asked me to give $100. And then mommy Suzanne gave a certain $50 that was sent by two of our mothers. Uh, let me see. I'm going to read their names. They wanted us to ensure that their names are called. Let me read it very quick. Uh, why I'm going to mommy Suzanne. We have the pa, of course, our pa in Germany. That spoke with us on conference call. We have acknowledged your $87. And then we have Mr. Bennett also said he sent $50 on cash app. He didn't hear his name, but we actually read his name. He didn't hear, or probably he's, we skipped it. And uh, we have uh, $50 from Sister Caroline that uh, she sent to my wife because my wife's friend, they have contacts, and that money has been handed to me. 
So all of this money, if you put Sister Emerencia $100, uh, Sister Caroline $50, and then uh, Mommy Suzanne 50 that's 200 uh, you add it here, it will be uh, 1,500 and, let me go back to the was to the cash up real quick, uh, it will be 1,000 five hundred and twenty nine dollars extra from the one from the from that particular uh, amount that has come in so this money is going to be sent immediately to the quarters that i as had it has been instructed here so if you have done any contribution there i'm not heard your name please you have the right to object on this live show you have the right to call my number is 202 2247 and if i read that you you are supposed to receive this amount for mesam faco and you don't receive it Please, you have the right to object on another live call and with proofs. So we want to be very transparent. Sister, Mommy Susan, let me see uh, the people who, the two mothers who send that money. And then uh, one of our mothers too said that she has sent $50 on my email, on my mail. So I'm going to pick that up and then we'll add it up today. So I want to read the names that Sister Susan, Sister Susan, Mommy Susan sent so that if you... Um, so my WhatsApp, just real quick. So that is a, that is a situation. So I want to implore you all to remain very focused. Okay, perfect. I think. Okay, the one of the names of the fifty dollars, mommy Dinah A, you sent twenty dollars, and mommy Agnes E, you sent thirty dollars. So this is it. You can see, for example, um, this is the instruction. So you see how the divided is being divided. That's it. So that's how we operate on this platform. It's very important, and uh, we we want to say, we want to say that every everybody everybody must remain focused. So do not bother about people who don't know nothing. People who want to talk. If such a crisis, whatever is happening, I'm sure that they're trying to fix that. And uh, the IG with any other person, you know, they're going to sit down. They do what they're going to do, and we will only be observing. I will also come out. I will come out to take a position. When the time is right for now everything that i see on whatsapp is a rumor to me and i want to keep it that way so i want to thank you all for coming despite the fact that they have blocked our main account uh god bless you especially your next record who is here and trying to follow so i want to let you know that forget conspiracy theories they'll say oh you are this you're that we want to ensure that everybody stays focused we are shutting down and tomorrow we'll do a special live show for 11 february and we have also had information that they want to do mountain race on the 14th We'll do a special live show for that and we'll send strict instructions to the restoration forces and we'll obviously do what we're going to do and we'll send a short, simple order. If you like to defile it, that will be your business. God bless you. I don't intend to make this very long. I want to be as short as possible. We'll have time to analyze more for some of this people to understand. Do not listen to broke people, people who are broke in their mind, broke in their pocket and only want to steal your reasoning and your money. So that is how you're supposed to understand. I mean, broke people like they are broke in their mind and in their pocket. Because if somebody is not so badly broke, you cannot call a direct, you cannot assume that a director of a newspaper should be a poor person because he was selling papers. Because you have a broke mentality, you don't know what's happening. And that is just the point. So the fact that we don't talk, it doesn't mean that you should take us for granted. We, we are so capable of paying some of them salaries. That is the point. That is why they probably think that they are so frustrated that we are same age group, we are same mate, we probably went to same same schools or did the same thing. And some of them are even older than some of us, but we are better and we are employers. Why they are employees? Take for example, if I run a website, it means that there's somebody who is an who is an IT technician who is running that site. You don't know the arrangement I have with him, you don't know what he's paid, you don't know what he's done, and he holds all of those things. So people should understand that there are lines that you can't cross. And for me, I'm one man that is a bulldozer. You can ask those who know me from Manu and the rest. I was the most wanted journalist. Even when they tried to attach me with the CPD and people, Ayapo, Justice Ayapo Abine can tell them that Eric Tato was the most hated Manu journalist because I got Dabi and the rest, they didn't want to see me. Because I was reporting very bad things about the CPD and people. And I still sold the papers to them because it's my right to sell papers. So I enjoyed selling papers. And just to let you know that on the 20th of this month, National Terror will be six years. But they have blocked our account, so we'll not do no celebration until after the account is open. We'll make a small stuff for everybody, all followers and stuff like that. God bless you. I want you to stay, I want you to stay blessed, stay focused. The revolution is your revolution. And do not bother about people who don't know nothing. 
They are only broke in the mind and in the pocket, and that's why they bother. If they need help, we can always help them. As a personal person, we can always help. So stay focused. Stay very focused. And do not get anything distract you. I'm begging you all. Stay focused. If you continuously get distracted, it's going to be on you. You know, they said a lot of things last week, two weeks. And I'm not replying. I don't bother calling their name because I have mothers who are who have wisdom. Who say that don't bother, I don't call their name because they this is this your platform is the most popular, is the most followed. And they hope that when they call you, you come and reply them. They would obviously get too popular. So that is the fact. And we were condemning people who stole money on this platform and we condemn people who took fake credit. But that era has passed and they cannot steal money again so their name will not be called. But if they start taking fake credit, we'll come back and still call their names. That is the job. That is the role of this platform. As for money and wealth, let it be known to all other activists that they are babies. When it comes to Eric Tato, I have a very heavy pocket. Very, very heavy pocket. Tell all of them. All of them on that camp. That is a fact. That this is not a joke. When it comes to contributions, they're going to see who's going to contribute the most. And without a stress. So thank you all for watching. Let's stay blessed. And um, at least my brother Yannick has seen some of the things that I do. And he understands exactly what I'm saying. So God bless you. And stay focused. For those who are watching on YouTube. Don't, they, will, they want to analyze this video. That oh, He's talking about himself. I have not started talking about myself. I have not started. So let us stay very focused. I have a quote. And we bless you all. Discard any information that will disturb you tonight about Secretary Chris. Wait and hear from him. If Secretary Chris resigns, God will provide a better person. If the IG is catching, God will provide a better means. When they arrested Seseko, we moved on. They arrested Bala and the rest, we moved on. They have killed generals and fighters who have moved on. Just today, as you can see, since the beginning of this revolution, we, not too many people, the few people, we have ensured that the lockdown has been the most successful since the beginning of the revolution. Those who used to say they have fighters here, they are do this, they write contrary messages. You have seen that God took this opportunity to expose them for you to keep your mind focused. Believe what you believe. And know that in no distant time, like Mark Barita is saying, the account for the National IK campaign will be created. I'm, I'm endorsing it, depending on the people that they will bring on the board. After vetting, and will say, okay, you cannot put your money here. But that AK campaign will come on and will work with anybody who is honest, who is transparent, and who, who we know that by instincts cannot destroy the revolution. Those who are hoping that they'll get money to supply AKs, please begin to look for money. Bogo money put in your account because you supply the AKs before we we'll pay you. So tomorrow we'll do something special and I hope that by today ending and so on, I've spoken to uh, Dr. Sako, I'll try to speak to Secretary Chris Anu and other members and see what's going on. For now, stay focused and keep your mind out of the cheap gossips. If he has resigned, we will know. If he's out of anger, we will know. Any good communicator should reach out to individuals concerned. If people can go to Nigeria and claim that they're investigating, what about a phone call to somebody who lives in America? I mean, it's as simple as that. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Don't forget, we have big breaking news from the American embassy here, what has happened to the ambassador. They were in court, and we have been following that story since three days ago. And so we will put out something for you to read, which is authentic, and uh, you would like to probably get the reasons why that particular action has been taken against the ambassador. Thank you so much. God bless you.